Hi guys, today we are going to see how to use sidebar of a certain UI. So firstly, we'll need to create an empty Next.js project. Just go here, copy this command from chat.cm, run this into terminal. This will create an empty Next.js project with TypeScript and Tailwind and ESLint. We don't need SRC. We will use app router. No. Now navigate to the project. It's an empty Next.js project. It only have a page and a layout file. So what we need to do is we need to go to a certain UI. To use this, we need to install some dependencies first. So here are the dependencies. We'll need frame of motion, CLSX, tail in merge, and icon react. Just copy this and paste it into terminal and run this. Now just create a utility file using this. What I will do is I will create a new file in my app and paste this it will create a lib folder inside it will create a utils.ts file right just copy this paste into utils now we need to create a sidebar.tsx file just copy this click on my app click click on new file Pasted, it will create a components folder inside it will create a UI folder and it will create a sidebar.tsx file now copy all this code and paste into the file save it now let's try to use this so to use this just go here copy whole code go to my app create a new folder called underscore components create a new file I will call it sidebar sidebar demo dot tsx and paste the whole code here save it uh, now it's giving us an error that it's importing from somewhere else so remove this import just import them manually like this press ctrl plus space and import from components ui sidebar similar pattern for this ctrl space component ui sidebar now let's try to use this inside our page.tsx file let's remove the whole code i will just remove everything from here put the div here Said. Firstly, we'll need to yeah copy this sidebar demo import it close it let's try to run our project the project should be running on our localhost 3000 let's try to open it So you must get this error if you are using an empty Next.js project. We need to add certainty.com because we are using its images. We need to configure them into next config. So to do that, just go to next config. It should be yes here. And inside the config, just write this code. Images, right? I should have an object which I will need to right and inside domains there could be multiple so I will pass an array and just paste assets.smtd.com let's try to run this refresh this yeah it's working fine 
but we need to fix the height to fix the height you can go to sidebar.demo and find right the height from here you can put your height whatever you like but for this tutorial i'm going to use i'm going to use dvh 100 dvh which should help it to take the whole space now to fix the width we can remove this now uh, maybe just keep it and give it 100 percent and to update this or to use the children office what we can do is as you can see it should be using dashboard yeah this dashboard which is defined here dummy dashboard you can use uh, your own custom component here or maybe you just want to use it with children so what you can do is you can go to page file inside of using it to look like this we can do something like this and pass something inside it so i will just pass an h1 called my content so to accept children here what you need to do is right what you need to do is since it's in typescript what you can do is write children here you need to define what type of children they are so i will pass it read only children type of react dot react mode now we should be able to use children inside sidebar demo so I will just remove this dashboard and pass our children here and now it's showing my content which are we passing from here you can update whatever you like you can update even sidebar.demo you can update links from here icons from here everything is configurable so you can just come here and play with it thanks guys for watching